His demeanor is the same as if you were talking to him. Um, I would joke around with some of the other uh, security personnel. He's, you know, my terminology would be he's kind of too cool for school. He goes into that kind of Jack Sparrow mode and he just, you know, he's very likable, you know, whether he drinks or he doesn't drink. I've seen him slightly to intoxicated. And again, based on your observations, what is Mr. Depp's demeanor like when he appears slightly intoxicated? It's the same as if he, you know, had a glass of sparkling water. I mean, he's just very low key. He's easy to get along with. And, um, you know, he just seems to me, I mean, he handles alcohol a lot better than I would. And would you please describe for the jury some of your er early interactions with Miss Heard? Um, she was very pleasant, um, very easy to get along with. Uh, I mean, she was almost as if she was a, a next door neighbor, just always had a smile to her face and um, just, um, you know, just, you know, no issues at the time. And, you know, I liked her, liked her a lot. And did you have an opportunity to observe Mr. Depp's interactions with uh, Ms. Hurd's family and friends? I did. Um, he was very open and warm to them. He you know, offered them, you know, uh, whatever they needed. They were constantly coming around the estate. Um, you know, eventually he, he let a couple of them live in his penthouses downtown for free. He would let them, a few of them drive his nice um, Dodge Challenger in and around town and take on trips. Did you have an opportunity to observe how Ms. Hurd's friends and families treated Mr. Depp? I did. Um, they were obviously very pleasant to him because I, you know, I, from observing, they were taking advantage of him. So they were being obviously extra nice to the hand that feeds them. And that's just progressed over a period of time. Do you recall any specific instances, Mr. Bat, where um, you heard Ms. Hurd say something to her friends? Yes. Um, the first one, I was taking her from um, Mr. Depp's property to uh, her apartment um, in the south end of the city that I believe Mr. Depp was paying for. She was sitting next to me in the vehicle. Um, she was talking to a girlfriend or a friend where they were talking about another male. And she says to the friend, girlfriend, whoever she was talking to, you know, all men are idiots. You know, you shouldn't trust that guy. And then she turned to me and she said, you know, sorry, Sean, not you. I didn't mean that. And I just shrugged it off like it's not a big deal. Well, I noticed they went from being that loving, almost like high school couple where they were very giddy towards each other. He was very happy. She was very happy to, um, they started to argue periodically and then the arguing uh, started to progress more and more and more. And uh, it was always taking place because, you know, Ms. Heard would start this argument. Based on your observations, did it ever appear that Ms. Heard was intoxicated? There were times when I went into the penthouse or we were at the Hollywood estate and, you know, based on my training and experience in law enforcement, I could tell she Checks was you know, slightly it's, intoxicated. Excuse me. Excuse me. So that's kind of getting, uh, getting into the realm of expert testimony. He's not a designated expert. Do you recall observing any arguments between Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard? Mm, several. As we were driving downtown, you know, she was crying. This was at the point when uh, the, the arguing was taking place quite frequently. And I was telling her, I go, you know, I said, Amber, you know, this can't continue. You guys are either going to kill each other, or you're going to be in jail. And, you know, with tears and everything, she says, but I love him and uh, I'm not going to lose him. And I says, but you guys can't keep doing this. Um, so we eventually got to the downtown apartments. You know, she said, thank you. I dropped her off. Um, and then I went back to the West Hollywood address. The constant arguing and bickering and so forth, because as I said, it was slowly progressing and, um, you know, it was just going to turn out bad eventually. There is an incident because as I said, the arguing progressed over and over as the years continued. Um, he would text me uh, when I was working saying, you know, Jackson, your honor calls for hearsay. Mr. Bad, if you could just focus on what Ms. Heard, you overheard Ms. Heard say while observing arguments between Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard. Uh, I overheard her saying to him, uh, he's a fat ass. And you too, Sean, uh, at one time when, you know, she went to throw a water bottle or a plastic cup down the stairs and it bounced kind of in Johnny's direction. But I ended up 
getting him and we you know got out of there as soon as possible other than a water bottle or a plastic cup did you ever see miss heard throw anything else um, no other than what he told me when she threw a broken bottle and sliced his finger and I, sir Sorry. i'll sustain the objection the jury will strike that that testimony please just answer the question asked and when there's an objection do not speak okay right. i'm sorry thank you at any point during during miss Hurd's and mr depp's relationship did you ever see any injuries on miss Hurd? no how about on mr depp yes uh the first time would have been around um 2014 i guess um in which he had a uh, his finger was damaged from uh, an incident in Australia. Uh, I saw another injury around, um, what would have been March of 2015. He had um, uh, a swollen kind of cheekbone eyelid. Mr. Bett, do you recognize this photograph? I do. And how do you recognize it? Because I took that picture. Why did you take this photograph? Well, we needed it as evidence in case um, um, Ms. Heard tried to make allegations uh, towards Mr. Depp. I was emphatic with him, telling him that's a serious mark and we need to photograph it. It was around uh, December of that same year, 2015, um, he uh, got into an argument with Ms. Heard and she scratched him and he had injuries. Objection, uh, sustain the objection, only your observation, sir, what you saw. Yeah. Uh, yes, he had scratch marks um, around his nose area. Um, I believe on one of the sides of his face in the cheek area and then on his forehead. Do you recognize these photographs? I do. And how do you recognize them? Because I took them. I took them to show proof that uh, he once again had injuries sustained and an altercation. Did you ever see any similar injuries on Ms. Hurd? None. Did you have a clear view of Ms. Hurd? I did. Did you have a clear view of her face? I did. Did you observe any injuries on Ms. Hurd's face? I didn't. Did you see any redness? I didn't. Swelling? None. 